Hi everyone and welcome to the Tactics Zoom session two in August. Uh, we're going to be going through the material um, that you've been working on this week. So let me just share my screen. I'll do an advanced screen share. Um, so the idea is I'll put the tactics up on the screen. You guys privately message me your answer. And um, then if anyone doesn't understand, they should ask a question. Um, but obviously, if you've gone and you've done for, gone for it diligently and you understand, then just shout your answer out to me privately and then we'll move on to the next one. Obviously, there's level one questions here and level two questions. So and then level three. So they do get harder. Um, but it's better if you just do it as a private message. And please ask if you're not sure, because that's the whole point of these sessions. Um, so you should be able to see my screen. And I'm going to put the first question up on the screen. So just privately message me your solution. And anyone that doesn't understand, please let me know. You can always raise your hand and, and ask me verbally as well. So let's get going. White to play. This is a double attack x-ray. Like I say, they do, they are easy to start with and then they get harder. I'm assuming you've already done these. Can't see the top of the board. Is that the case for everyone? I should be able to see it. Can everyone see the whole board? You're being very quiet today. Tori is saying he can't see the eight franc. Um, is that the case for everyone? No, I don't think it is because I've put the box around the whole board. So you should be able to see the whole board. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it might just be your computer. You might just need to reconfigure the settings. Um, okay, guys, I've only had one answer in from Frank, which is correct. Um, so, yeah, please do just privately message me. I'm hoping to whiz through the easier ones and get onto the difficult ones. Good, Bodhana Marcos. Aiden. Okay, maybe some of you just don't want to write the answer. Okay, Rook C4. Um, this is a, a nice idea. And um, well, it's basically game over. Nothing that black can do. Um, take the rook and then we take here. Okay, cool. Right, next one. Like I said, I'm going to go through these fairly fast. Um, so white to play. What should white play here? And privately message your answer in the chat, please. Hopefully, even if you are level three and above, um, hopefully you just did the easy ones anyway or you can do them now. Yeah, just privately message me if you can. I can see if you understand. And remember, if you have a question, please do ask it. Don't sit there in silence because that's the whole point of this session. Good Aiden, good Tori, good Gonzalo, good Frank. Try and get everyone to put their answers in the chat, please. I quite like this one because it covers lots of themes. No, Gonzalo, these are all sent out. Um, it's the same study. It's just um, obviously if you're higher level, you might as well start do the easy ones first because it shouldn't take you too long. Um, but you can do them now if you haven't already done them. I mean, I'm hoping these will... Um, be okay for you to do now. If that's the case, I think I'll just put a timer on if you haven't done these ones because that's probably the easiest way to do it. I'll probably only give you guys one minute for these so that we can get through and onto the harder ones. Um, okay. Yeah, here we go. Let's have one minute. Oh, you're talking about the mock exams. Uh, yeah, so far we've only written mock exams for level three and four. 
Okay, right. Uh, one minute then to get your answer to me here, and then we'll move on to the next one. And everyone try and answer, even if it's easy for you. Nothing wrong with getting it right. Well done, Aditya, and people that have written the full solution, Bodhana as well. And this all comes down to the fact that black fish are just stuck on the back rank. Okay, good. Knight g6. Forking the king and the queen, rook takes, and now we can get back rank checkmate. So well done if you got that. Like I say, we're going to go through these fairly fast. If you've got any questions, please ask. Um, okay, next one. I'll put the one minute timer on. Okay, white to play. Good about Hannah, good Tory. Good Frank and Marcos. And Aiden. Who is energy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Aditya and Kenneth and Arian. Great, so you can get these right in a game even if you don't know there's a good move there by just looking at checks, captures and threats. It feels like the queen is fairly trapped, except it can kind of go back this way. So bishop g4 is a great move given that the knight is pinned and the knight can't take it. So now the queen is trapped. Cool, okay, next one. Please do shout out if you're not sure about anything. Because that's what the session's about. Okay, next question. This is titled Remove the Guard. And just privately message me your answer. This is a move that I think lots of people could miss in a game by not looking at what's going on properly. Good, Aditya, Gonzalo, Tori, Vodhana. It's white to play. Uh, Tori, oh, maybe you're giving me the next move from the sequence. Oh yeah, cool, thank you. Aiden, good. Just 10 seconds left for this one. Yeah, good, Charlie. Okay, so um, the clever move is e5, and it's kind of an intermediate move or a suspicion stroke, although my German is absolutely terrible, so I've probably pronounced that wrong. <laughs> queen takes queen, and then you don't rush to take back because you've got an intermediate move of taking the rook with check, and then you can take the queen. Okay, well done if you got that. Next question. This is about discovered attack and trapping. So white to play, what should white play? Very cool emoji, Arian. It does feel a bit like um, Black's queen is misplaced. I feel like Black's been very greedy. Gone rushing around with his queen taking a pawn and now things go wrong. Yeah, thanks Frank, Tori, Aidan, Kenneth, Arian, Bodhana, Gonzalo, Charlie, so far. Never be greedy with your queen. Remember the most important thing is development first. So many queens get trapped in the opening when people go pawn grabbing. 
Marcos, well done. Arian, well done. And Aditya. So, yeah, the queen is pretty much stuck. At the moment, it can go to b3. So we can do a discovered attack with our knight. The only square we can move it to where it defends b3 is c1. So we just go knight c1 and it's, it's game over because black has to sacrifice the queen. And I'm sure you can all win that position. <laughs> pretty sure you can. Cool, okay, next question, it's just a mix. And um, so this time it doesn't tell you what the theme is. White to play, what's the best move for white? Again, we're still on the, the level one question, so you only get a minute to solve this. And hopefully you've already solved it anyway. <laughs> Charlie, you wish, I'm sure you'd win that position, a queen up. Maybe, maybe not if it was, bullet or ultra bullet or something oh well i might not win it if it was ultra bullet or bullet you might i'd be interested to know how your 24-hour marathon went <laughs> okay um yeah good aditya bodhana aiden And if you go through the process of looking at checks, caps, and threats, I don't think you can miss things like this in a game. Um, yeah, good, Kenneth. Yeah, so um, we can move up on to d5, attacking the black knight, This black knight is defending the black bishop. So when the knight moves out of the way, we can just take the bishop for free. So well done if you got that. Next question. I'm going fairly fast through these. Uh, that's intentional. But if anyone's sat there struggling or not understanding, please just let me know and I can help you. Okay, next question. White to play. Lots of white to plays today. Why is my timer not working? Oh, here we go. Okay. These knights, superfluous knights. Both knights want to be on the same square. Okay, some answers for already. Well done. All correct, Gonzalo, Arian, Kenneth, and Bodhana. So Joseph into the meeting. Corey, that's right. Okay, so this knight is defending this knight, so we just need to um, kick this knight out of the way. And then if the knight moves out of the way, we can just take a piece for free. Okay, well done if you got that. Next question. White to play. What's the best move? Just a minute again. Hopefully this jumps out at you. Yep, good, Aaron. Tori Bodhana, well done. Kenneth. Um, is this here, there's a better move than that? Go through the process of checks, captures, and threats, and then you won't miss this move. Uh, I don't think you lose a bishop and a rook. Okay, the time is up. Just go 96, check, because the F pawn is pinned. Uh, black's got to move out of the way. Um, in fact, I think Black's only got one move. And then we take the queen. Um, you're quite right that they can take our bishop. But if I keep um, my queen somewhere attacking, I, I guess, what's the best move here? Probably queen e2. 
and then knight takes f1. I've now that knight is now trapped, so I don't need to rush to take that back. Um, maybe I'll just take on b7, and white is significantly better, and I'm confident all of you could win this position. So um, let's go on to the next one. Okay, white to play. What should we do here? Setting Jaden then. I don't even know if I started my timer. Did I start my timer? <laughs> um, so we've got a mix of answers here, actually. Lots. We've got bishop takes d5. And also queen takes f6. I'm sure about that. Um, so we've got bishop takes d5. And um, the other move, I mean, I think this is probably, I mean, bishop takes d5 does um, completely win, and we'll look at that in a moment. Um, the other move is just rook e1, which is winning because um, you're attacking the pinned piece. And then after knight c7, uh, we've got knight e4. And somebody got that right as well. Um, but bishop takes knight is very clever because both pieces that are protecting it are pinned. So bishop takes, uh, queen takes f6. Uh, well, it's game over, really. I'm sure you guys can navigate your way through from here. Uh, it's completely winning for white. Um, and if they take this way, then goodbye, queen. So two sort of correct answers there, depending on your style. And uh, black's very cramped and black's pieces are slightly offside. Okay, any questions? And yeah, do try and message me privately. That uh, just makes it easier for everyone else. Okay, final level one question. So one minute for this, please. White to play, what should white play here? Good. Tori, Frank, Charlie, Gonzalo, Aditya, Bodhana, Marcos. You haven't been told the theme, but hopefully you can work out what you're doing. Again, the easiest way to get it right is to go through the process of checks, captures, and threats. Um, good. Arian, Kenneth, Aiden. Just got to have these moves jumping out at you in games. <laughs> Charlie's saying it looks like a caro. I wouldn't call it a nice caro, Charlie, given that Black's about to lose their queen. Um, yeah, well done, everyone. Bishop A5 and the queen is completely stuck. Look at the, oh, a nice caro for white. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> These bishops are so powerful, just dominating the key squares. Okay, let's go on to the level two questions now. So white to play. What should white play here? This is trapping and chasing. And I think I might give you, well, I don't know. This one's not so tricky, so I'll give you one minute for this. White to play, what should white do? 
Once again, black's been greedy, eating pawns in white's position, very materialistic, and then black gets a bit of a shock when white plays. His next move, great Bodhana. Yeah, give the full variation, well done Gonzalo. Yeah, Tori, give me the next move if you can. Thank you, Darian. Okay, time's up. And um, it was on Charlie and Kenneth. So rook b3, the queen is stuck. And um, black probably thought he could get back with queen a5. But as lots of you have told me, that doesn't work because bishop b6. And the queen can't even escape anywhere on the fifth rank because all those squares are covered. So well done. Next question. Discovered attack. I think because I want more detail for these, I'll, I'll be kind and give you two minutes for them. Because I'm always telling you guys not to rush, they'll so be a bit hypocritical. I like this one, it's very nice. So, um, white to play. What should white do? Give me the full variation, please. We've got two minutes to solve it. Well, hopefully, you've already done this. Probably a bit trickier, unless you know the idea. But there's a big clue, it's, a, it's to do with a discovered attack. There's lots of moves that look tempting here, but there's only really one winning move. Well, I guess I, no, I think there is only one winning move, actually. Yeah, there's only one winning move. In fact, nobody's given me the correct answer yet. So if you need more time, just let me know. I can give some more time. Nobody's got it right yet. This is one of those moments in a game where if you find the right move, you win the game. If you miss it, you let your opponent back into the game. I think because there's loads of tempting looking moves, people are just going for the first move that looks good. Oh, one correct answer come through from Gonzalo. Give me the full variation, please. And Aiden, but give me the full variation. Um, well done, Kenneth. He's got it correct and he's given me the full variation. Do the rest of you need another minute to think about it? Okay, I'll give you another minute then. Yeah, well done, Gonzalo. Getting lots of people just saying moves like bishop b5, rook d1, with no analysis or anything. Um, yeah, they look tempting, and I'm sure if you're playing online chess, you probably play them pretty quickly, but you need to try and find the best move. I've told you there's a winning move here, so don't, you don't need to just guess. You need to find the winning move. Good Tory, tell me the variation, please. So this is one of those positions where it looks so fun because all these moves look attractive. But I mean, I'm going to show you why they're not right. So firstly, if you go rook d1, which lots of people wanted to play, then I guess that black just takes it here with check. And this is by no means winning. Um, so, 
doesn't work. Hang on a second, something funny has happened. Um, and bishop b5, well, lots of you have told me if they go king d8, you can go rook d1, but we're not playing hope chess where we hope our opponent makes a bad move. And what if our opponent just goes bishop d7? Our opponent's actually able to escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a, a very good point made. Let's just go back a second. Uh, I guess I was, uh, I guess I was testing you. <laughs> yeah, we could just get a mate. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, there's a mate. So rook d1 would be a double question mark move. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> um, so the winning move is queen a4. And the reason that's a winning move, because black's in check. So if black moves the king, to d8, white can play um, rook d1 and win the queen. This time there's no mate because it's pinned. And if black um, blocks with the bishop, then white's got a discovered attack, which wins the black queen. So does that make sense, everyone? Just looking at the chat. Okay, any questions, let me know. But it's a nice idea. I think if you have this kind of position, you can tell that Black's King is really, really weak. So use all your time trying to work out what the winning move is. Um, don't rush into um, other moves that aren't good. The queen is badly placed there. So um, if you got here, um, just um, at the beginning, I was saying that at some point I need to take a quick break because we're having a delivery into this room. So what I want you to do um, now, whilst uh, it's just a bad being delivered, it has to be in this room. I want you to do your um, uh, your um, tactic streak, but I want you to do it for the pin. So um, yeah, that's fine. That's, um, so I'll just um, put the link in the chat. And you guys, when I do this, if you you should know, I just want to see all green ticks. That's all I want to see. So I don't want to see anyone getting them wrong. So have a go at doing this and then we'll come back to going through the solutions. I'll just have to take my video off probably for a couple of minutes, but I'll still be here to help you. So click on that and um, I'll enable you guys to share your screens and see how many green ticks you can get right in a row. But remember, if you get it wrong and you get a big red X, then that's not good. See how many you can get right and then we'll carry on going through the answers. Um, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be very long. Um, it's a bad timing because I was supposed to come at nine, <laughs> but it's all good. So click on that and start doing your um, your pins um, and see how many you can get right. I'll just take my video off for a moment. Does that all make sense? Message me in the chat if you've got any questions. Queen A4, and I just need to share my screen again. I'll do that now. So you won't be able to share yours anymore, but keep going with the um, the pins maybe after this. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and yeah. Okay, so let's um let's go to the next one then. So removing the guard. So white to play, and this actually has been featured in Magnus Carlsen's games, and he's actually forgotten about this. It's a very common idea. So white to play, what should white play here? Good. Aditya Jaden Gonzalo. Bodhana. Yeah, it's an interference move. 
just give you another minute to look. Okay, well done. So e6, it basically blocks the bishop from defending the knight. And if pawn takes, then we can take the knight. And if bishop takes, then we take the bishop and then we can take the knight. So hopefully you all understood that one. And we'll move on to the next question. So um, white to play, what should white play here? Another really, really common idea what happens in loads and loads of games. So I'll just give you one minute for that. Question last one. Oh, right, sorry, did I go on too fast? What's your question, Budhana? Yeah, fire away, Budhana, what's your question? This is a really nice idea to block the defense of the knight. Okay, maybe she doesn't have one anymore. Okay, so um, yeah, this one here then, give me the full variation. I'll just give you one minute for this. Uh, I'll just let Aidan back into the meeting. Okay, white to play. I'll come back to that then in a moment, Bodhana. Good. Lots of correct answers coming through here. Hopefully you've played this in your game against someone. It's very, very common. <laughs> yeah, Marcos, Aditya, Arian, Adam. Looks good. Queen takes C6. Queen takes, and now Knight takes E7, forking the king and the queen. So we emerge after that. And um, two pieces ahead on material. Just had a question from Bodhana about the last one. So um, we, let me just get it back up in the chat. E6, F takes, Queen takes G4. And then um, you put D5, but I think you mean E5. Uh, discovered attack on the Queen. Um, and attacks the knight. So maybe one of you guys can answer that for Bodhana. What do you think white should do now? And it's very good that she was looking at defences here. So what do you think white should do? Having a bit of two options come up here. Knight f5 or knight e6. Um, I think they're both uh, well, I think probably knight e6 is better because it threatens mate um, and it threatens the queen. So it's basically forcing uh, bishop takes knight and then your piece up. I think knight f5 probably works as well because you'll be able to take this bishop with check. Um, so yeah, really good question though. And these questions are definitely worth it because I don't want everyone to think that um, they can't ask these questions. So well done for asking that. Uh, I think both of those moves for white are fine, but I think 96 is probably the easiest. Um, but obviously if white just moved the queen, then black would get a piece. Um, so great question, thanks for that. Okay, let's move on to the pin question. My favorite, pin and win. And those of you that were doing those pin questions in the break, um, hopefully you'll be able to get this right. But it doesn't get your green tick. Pin and win. Yeah, well done, Tori.
good. Bodhana, Arian, Marcos, Aiden. Yeah, try and write it privately to me. So then if people are still thinking, they won't get the answer by accident. Because obviously it's easy when you've seen the answer. Although I'm not saying everyone's right. Although everyone that's given me an answer is correct here. So black's got the king and the queen aligned on the dark square diagonal. So rook takes bishop and uh, wins a piece. And if black were to take it, then you can win the queen because it's pinned. Okay, so um, well done guys, let's go to the next one. This is a mix, so it doesn't actually tell you what the theme is, which makes it a little bit harder. Uh, because there's more to type, I think I'll give you two minutes for this one. So white to play, what should white play? There's only one winning move in this position. And because it's quite a nice tactic. You follow the process of checks, captures, and threats, then you're not going to miss this. Good. Marianne, Jaden, Godhana, Aditya. Yeah, try and give me the variation um, after Black's best move. Um, thanks, Kenneth. That's great. Yeah, but honey, you did as well. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, good, Jaden. I think the second move in this sequence is quite stylish and fairly unusual to play this in a game. Good, Arian. Okay, so queen a3, I think most people got that. And then black blocks with the rook. And what's important here is to play knight g8. So it's very, very fancy because you're moving the knight to a very strange looking square, but it's just completely over because it's fork as well. So you're attacking the pin piece a third time, uh, forking the queen and the rook, and it's pretty much game over because I don't really know what black does. Takes it and then we can just take, um, well, we can take either way. Maybe just take with the queen is easiest. Um, I mean, if you miss that, I think rookie five is still very good because black's a bit stuck, but knight g8 is, is a nice move and it just um, completes the game pretty quickly. So if you found knight g8, well done. And um, that's the important part of this sequence. Uh, so don't forget that you can move your knights to the edge of the board sometimes, or the back of the board. Okay, Brill, next question. We got quite a lot of questions today. Oh, better um, hurry up. Let me do the one minute timer. Right to play. Um, because I'm assuming you guys have had a look at these um, prior to this Zoom anyway. So it's not like I'm rushing you. And that black's bishop here is overworked. Yeah, good. Gonzalo and Tori and Jaden. This bishop is overworked. It's an overworked piece. Good Bodhana and Aditya.
No, I don't think so, Tori. Um, I think I think there's only one winning move here for White. Okay, so Rook takes D7. Um, Bishop takes, and then we've got Knight takes A6. Forking the King and the Rook. And White emerges ahead on material. Um, if you do it in the other order, it doesn't do anything because we can't, we've not got a follow up, we've just lost material, so that doesn't work. And if you see an idea, then you can always try the moves in a different sequence if you're not sure. And um, hopefully that explains it, Tori. Uh, any other questions before we move on? Because we've got lots to get through. Okay, white to play. What should white play? In this position. What about king b8? Well, the thing is, you've just won a piece for free, so yeah, you're you're happy to have this position. Uh, I guess we just um, well, I think I would probably move my uh, rook back to cover b2, and I'm an exchange up. No good question, Aditya. So let's move on. White to play. What should white play in this position? Answers to me, please. Excellent, Adam and Kenneth. Bodhana, Arian with two exclamation marks. <laughs> I like that. Gonzalo. Yep, cool, cool, everyone. So 15 seconds left, you've not given me your answer. Oh, Bodhana's got all hers written down, that's brilliant. <laughs> Bye bye, King's wife. <laughs> yeah, the queen is dead. <laughs> Bishop be free. And the only square that's safe is A8, but it's not safe for long because of this fork. Okay, great. Next question. White to play. I'm only giving you one minute because we've got lots to get through. This is the penultimate one from the level two questions. So white to play, what's the winning sequence? I think you need to give me at least two moves for white. No correct answers yet. Yeah, well done, Aidan. You're the first. And Kenneth, well done. <laughs> I think you got your coordinates wrong, Tori. I don't think you want to give up your queen. Yeah, well done. Excellent. So um, the correct answer is queen to d5. King has to move um, into the corner. Well, we can go through rook f7 in a moment if anyone wants to play that. And then we've got queen h5 for any checkmate and the bishop. So it's very, very good. Um, if after queen d5 and um, black blocks with the rook, we can take on f7. Sorry, H7. And um, Black's in a lot of trouble. So um, Queen D5 is the correct move. So very well done if you got that right. And let's move on to the last one from level two. So white to play. What is the winning move for white, please? 
I'll give you one minute for this and then we can move on to level three. And a good idea in games. What did Black just play? Well, in this position, I don't know what Black's last move was. Or are you talking about the previous question? Yeah, good idea in these positions is to think about hanging pieces. Yeah, well done, Kenneth. I don't know what Black's last move was, but that doesn't really come into it, actually. And Lee Chess, why does the bishop have a plus? I'm not sure you'll have to ask Lee Chess. Um, so, I've got two moves that people are giving me. Um, so, if you go g5, and the bishop moves out of the way somewhere, then we've got queen h3, forking the rook, and the king. So what was good to notice here is this rook is a hanging piece, which means it's not defended. So good players, they, they do try to keep their pieces defended so that accidents like this don't happen. Um, I had another answer through of queen h3 first, and then king g8, and then g5, but that doesn't work because, are well, you guys can tell me, what can black play here? Yeah, exactly, bishop f5. And then when the queen moves, a black can move the bishop to safety. So you've got to make sure you get the right order of the moves. You may have seen this idea of queen h3, but the sequence is important. Sometimes if you see um, a move, a tactical sequence, and it looks like it doesn't work, just shuffle the moves around in a different order and it will work. I hope that makes sense. And now we're going to move on to level three. So discovered attack and clearing. So we don't have a huge amount of time, but I'm hoping you guys have done these already. So let's see, start with one minute, but then if you struggle, we can give you more time and run over slightly. I'd like the full sequence of moves, please, rather than just one move for this. Excellent, Tori. Those of you that didn't get on to doing these, don't worry, you can just watch if you want, because um, level three is only aimed at the higher and more experienced players on the academy. Excellent, Kenneth and Adam. So hopefully you can all identify that there's potential to do a discovered attack on the queen. Um, moving the knight immediately isn't really that effective. In fact, it's probably pretty bad because it loses a bishop. When you're doing a discovered attack, you really want to go for the most valuable piece which is the king. Um, obviously, you'd love to just push the white pawn off the board, but that's illegal. <laughs> so uh, what we do is move our pawn to d7. And now, um, whichever way black takes it, we can go knight d6 and win the queen. If black moves the king forward, then we can just get our own queen and it's checkmate. <laughs> so that's... You know, if you have a piece that's in the way, sometimes you can sacrifice it. And because it's a forcing sequence and that completely works. So well done. Okay, discovered attack number two, remove the guard. So white to play. I'll give you one minute for this.
and I need to start the timer. Good at it here. Again, I'd love to move my queen somewhere powerful, but there's not any good discovered attacks in the position at the moment. So we need to remove a piece that's blocking um, our desired move. Yeah, well done, Aiden. Well done, Bodhana. If I can move the queen somewhere with Chuck, then I'd be very, very happy. And in this position, I can't. So what I need to do first, thanks Adam, is F4, attack the bishop then the bishop's got to move and it can't stay on this diagonal because all the squares are covered. Um, when it moves off the diagonal, and um, we've got queen b2, attacking the king and doing a discovered attack on the queen. So I think that's quite nice, the idea of just trying to get the bishop off the diagonal. And if they take here, um, you've got an intermediate move, pawn takes bishop. And after king takes, we can recapture the queen and white's a piece ahead. Okay, setting up a battery is the next question. White to play, how do we set up a battery? Black hasn't developed many pieces, so Black's a bit cramped. And going through the process of checks, captures and threats will get you to the right solution. Well done, Adam. I've had answers of Queen D3 and Queen E2, but they're not correct. Look at the Catch, uh, checks, captures, and threats. This time it is a threat, the latter of the three. Good Gonzalo and Aditya. So we move our bishop to attack Black's rook. The rook can only go to one square, and now we can do a discovered attack because Black doesn't take this with check because it's not an e1, and well, Black's in trouble significant trouble. So I'm guessing Black's best move is not to move the rook to e8, but then white will just take the rook and win material. So this often happens in positions where your opponent's not developed their pieces. So make sure you're always looking out for every single attacking move you can do. Okay, pin is the next one. So white to play. What should white play? It is two o'clock, so if you need to go, you can go, but I'm going to carry on till we get to the end um, of these. So what should white play in this position? That's good, Gonzalo and Bodhana. And Adam. And Aiden. I need to put my timer on.
Yeah, well done, Frank. That's excellent. Pin and win, everyone. First thing is to create the pin and then attack the pinned piece. <laughs> or those of you that use chess kid, pee pee on the pee pee. <laughs> Okay, so the correct answer here is queen c8 check, uh, forcing the black king to move. And then we've created this pin where the knight can't move anywhere. So we can play knight to b5, attacking the pinned piece a second time. Unfortunately for black, um, he doesn't have any checks because that just gets taken. And he can't use his dark square bishop to defend because these squares are both covered. So white just wins a piece. Okay, next question. White to play. Go back, short. Sure. No problem, Arian. What's your question? Bishop f4. Well, um, if you do bishop f4, then they can take your knight. So you're not actually winning any material. Um, so yeah, the knight was attacked, so we need to go knight b5. But good question, it's good to have questions. And now we're moving on to discovered attack and clearing. So white to play, what should white play here, please? No, you're not, Arian. <laughs> I like questions, so don't worry. Okay, white to play, what should we do? Good, Bud Hanna and Gonzalo. And Frank, well done. Yeah, so here, um, hopefully you can realize that um, we can do some kind of discovery with our bishop, um, but if we just move the knight somewhere like e5, then it doesn't do anything, and black can just take on g2 and then move the knight somewhere to safety um, or get it defended. So we need to come up with something a bit more forcing. So white starts by taking the knight, and then after bishop takes back, and um, we can move our knight to g5. This actually threatens checkmate, so black can't just ignore it. And I guess black needs to take. And now, okay, we've sacrificed a piece, but we can take the bishop on b7, and it's actually a fork. So black, black's going to lose quite a lot of material. And then hopefully you can win that game. And in fact, now, just looking at it, this knight doesn't have a square it can move to apart from b8, and that would mean that black loses a whole rook. So black's in significant trouble. If you found that, excellent, well done. So now we're going to go on to the mixes. So these are quite tricky, and there's no theme for them. So you do know it's a good move, but you don't know what it is. Um, so white to play, what should white play? And look out for hanging pieces. That's my tip here.
Yeah, try and give me the full variation. Yeah, well done, Adam and Tori. <laughs> yeah, so basically, this is the hanging piece, this bishop. So we can come up with a sequence of moves to win that piece. And we start with um, bishop takes c7. And then after queen takes c7, we now go knight b5, attacking the queen and also attacking the hanging piece. And this queen cannot move to defend the bishop. So white's just winning. I did have somebody wanting to play, hang on, just looking in the chat. Something else in this position. And knight takes e6, but we can just take it with the bishop and that is not a good move. Um, any questions about that? The move order is very important here. Knight to b5. As soon as you identify the hanging piece, then you should, sorry, I've gone down too far with my screen. As soon as you identify the hanging piece, you should be able to work that out. I think, um, Bodhana, you want to go knight e5 here, but it does attack this again. But I think we can just play uh, queen takes, and if bishop takes, then uh, we've not won any material but knight b5 does win material. So any questions? Are we all okay with that? I'll move on unless there's any questions. Okay, so next position, white to play. What should white do here? Lots of people falling for the trap. <laughs> oh, God, Hana, you've managed to get the correct answer. Well done. Yeah, watch out for the trap. Sometimes chess looks too easy. <laughs> and don't just assume your opponent will play a certain move. <laughs> Lots of people playing rook takes g6, but yeah, it does win if I take back with the pawn, but what if I just take back with my king? And what's going on here? Yes, you can take my queen, but black has checkmate. So don't assume your opponent's going to take back in a certain way. After king takes, then uh, black is just winning. So, correct answer is to block this rook out. So we have to put in, yeah, no problem, Aiden. Um, we're nearly finished anyway, and the end is recorded. Uh, well done, you've done really well, and you can listen to the end if you want to. Um, so knight f5 is the correct move, just blocking the rook out, and now after pawn takes, we can... Um, well, you guys tell me, because I don't think anyone told me the full solution here. They just wrote knight f5. So what do we play now? Yeah, rook g6. And then what if I go king f7? Defending my queen. My beloved queen is defended. Uh, yeah, rook g7. 
and after all these complications um we well, might as well throw in a check and then we can take a knight and we'll emerge um, a queen for a rook up in an end game so that's about interference that one okay next question we've only got uh, three more to go through so sorry it's run over slightly what should white play here I'll just give you one minute. Yeah, we want to put pressure on the pinned piece. That is correct. How do we do that without black being able to get out of it? So these level three questions have got tricks and traps to them and you guys are falling into them. <laughs> so here, um, if we play bishop g4, which lots of people want to do, um, did you consider the fact black can just take that because it attacks white's queen? So that doesn't work. Correct solution is e6. Don't spam Arian, please. Um, and now if pawn takes, we've got knight e5 attacking the pinned piece a second time. So well done if you saw that. Okay, penultimate question here. White to play. What is the winning move? This is really, really pretty, this. So what, hopefully you can identify that Black's king is pretty locked in. So how do we take advantage of that? I've got no correct answers yet. Those people want to go queen g5, but after knight g6, I think that's just better for black. Okay, so white plays queen takes f6, sacrificing the queen. And after pawn takes, does anyone know the solution now? Yes, good, Adam. We take, well, pawns, bishops can't jump, Jade, and we have to take on d4 first. And now we've got a threat of checkmate. That's very, very nice. And there's nothing black can do. We're going to take the queen next. And we'll be a piece up. Okay, final one. White to play, what should white play here? Well done, Bodhana.
Well, careful, Jaden, because I can just take that if you move there. Tori, I think I can escape by playing h6 after your move. I don't think my queen gets trapped. Yes, Adam, excellent. Really good. So we go pawn g3, attacking the black queen, which is very short of squares. Uh, the queen goes to the only safe square h3, and then we follow that up with g4, which is a discovered attack on the queen uh, from the rook. Now, um, if you put rook g3, it's a great idea, threatening bishop g5. I think black can slightly wriggle out of it by going h6. And we then can't play g3 because the rook's there. So um, very well done if you got that. That was the last one. Well done for staying. I know we've run over a bit. Um, your king's in danger. Uh, not really. Uh, black's got... So... I mean, a black will have to move the queen here. Um, once we get rid of the bishop, the knight can't get to g4 because we can just take it. We've got the rook covering, so there's no real um, concerns for white's king at this point. Okay, so um, thank you everyone for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, well done for working through those questions. And I will see you soon. Bye for now. Yeah, resigning is a good idea, but Han. I know, sorry, Arian. Okay, right, bye guys.